What used to be known as rubbish dumps or rubbish tips are now called landfills. Modern day landfills in Australia are designed using a series of liners, which helps protect the soil and groundwater underneath from being contaminated by harmful substances. A typical landfill cell is lined with a number of protective layers, including layers of clay and thick plastic liners. The bottom liner prevents the rubbish from coming in contact with the outside soil, stopping any liquid called leachate from seeping into the surrounding soil and groundwater. It's important to keep the landfill as dry as possible to reduce the amount of leachate so any water that was in the rubbish or is formed during breakdown is collected in special pipes and pumped to leachate storage ponds. This leachate, which can be made up of many different chemicals, is either treated or disposed of to the sewers. With the landfill being so tight and compacted, there is an obvious lack of oxygen, so bacteria in the landfill break down the rubbish. A byproduct of this anaerobic breakdown is landfill gas, which contains approximately 50% methane and 50% carbon dioxide, with small amounts of nitrogen and oxygen. This presents a hazard because the methane can explode and or burn. So, the landfill gas must be removed. To do this, a series of pipes are embedded within the landfill to collect the gas. In some landfills, this gas is vented or burned. Finally, a covering or cap is applied to seal off the top of the landfill. Landfills are not designed to break down rubbish, but rather to simply bury it. The good news is that once landfill sites have been capped, finished and monitored for many years, they can be reused and repurposed for things like sporting fields, recreational parklands or wildlife reserves. 